Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, such stress! Ah! Wow, oh my god, we're back! Wait, I mean, we never left. Oh, it, it, the stress has been continuous, and the, the pressure just unrelenting. Um, contrary to what I just said, I did leave and come back. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? That's, that's him, that's the prepper. He's stealing my stuff that I collected for him. How did he lose his foot? Did that happen? Did we, did we get a, a come across that in the game? At all? Surely this car, uh, oh, I think this is the ending. I think I fucked it. Because I died. But I got the panacea. I had the coat. Yeah. Yeah, and it he's like a weirdo. Oh, he lost his because he was in the army when he yeah, he used to be a dude in the army, yeah, I remember now. And yeah, look, he just sort of watched over you while you collected shit for him. It's weird, isn't it? You find out that essentially the prepper was using you. The whole time. The whole time he was just using us for gear and stuff. Um, I don't know if he like die. Uh, I don't know if the intention was to wait for us to die, or if it's like we keep you know this guy alive as long as possible, um, thinking and knowing eventually he will go. This is the prepper. Do you read me? Over. There you go. And then there's the new dude he's, he's found. The new guy he's found to be is his bitch. Yeah, right, well, fuck. Well, I fucked it by dying. I can't show you the proper ending. What a shame. Um, because I died trying to escape. Well, that's upsetting. Uh, huh. That's really upsetting, actually, that I can't show you the proper ending to the game. Well, okay. Spoiler alert, anybody who doesn't want spoilers, fuck off. Oh no, wait, I lied! I lied, here it is, we're here! Oh my god! Woohoo! I can show you the proper ending! Yeah! Yeah! I don't know if that's you, but you're on the same frequency, so hurry to the tower! We'll wait as long as we can! Now run! Alright, it's not, it's, it's not the same survivor. Uh... The one, the one you're fucking talking about, uh, got the shit deaded out of them. Um, okay, hang on. Moving. There's no time to waste. Uh, there is fucking time to waste. I need to make sure that I've got shit ready to fucking shoot stuff. Oh, oh, see, hit, 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 hit the helicopters. Oh my god. Uh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Oh. Die. Die. Right, we're going to just sprint past, because we don't need to kill them at this point. Just need to fuck this shit. Yep. Yeah. There's roof of the Tower of London. Oh my god, run! 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 Oh, I'm going to have to climb down the ladder. This is scary. Oh, I don't like the ladder fucking shit. Ah. Oh my god, yep, get your bag up, get your bag up. That's important, isn't it? Uh, can we just avoid this guy? Yes, we can. We can. Avoid, 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 avoid. Okay, just walk, just walk. Let's go, let's go. Oh, I hear him behind me. Oh, they're dropping down. They're dropping down from the ceiling. Oh, there's loads of them. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Oh, juke. Left and right. Oh, slide through the gap. Go, 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 go. Okay, take a walk, take a walk, take a walk. Just take a, take a second, take a second. Oh, please, let me through. Close that. Nice. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I've been swung at. I need to meet him on the roof. How do I get up there? There, this way. Go, go, go! Go! Are they following? No. Kind of? No. Badly? No. Uh, he was lighting the way for me, wasn't he? So it's this way. Uh, 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 oh shit, there's people on the floor and shit. Uh, you're gonna get up, for sure. Oh my god, let me pass you, little turd! Um... Yep, 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 yep. It's okay. I'm gonna just go to the roof. Just got got things to do. 
places to be. Where the hell am I looking? Where the hell am I looking? Where the hell am I looking? Right, I want to drop through this bit in the floor, right? I think I do, don't I? Oh, get murdered! Get murdered! Get murdered! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh, reload for me, please, please, please. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Uh, uh do I have any more? Yeah, 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 I've got some more. Come here, bitch! Come here! Come here! Oh, God, that's getting laggy. Ow, I've been hit! Ah, leave me alone. Oh, oh, got him in the head. Uh, oh, fuck it, let's get the bat out. Oh, shove. I'm in, I'm in the helicopter, I'm in the helicopter. Let me live. Please? Do I have to clear it? Oh, fuck, oh, fucking Jesus. Oh, spring! Leave me alone! Why are you coming at me with so much more severity? I swear! Oh, come here, get out of here, you little fish! Die! Die! It's time for me to go home! Am I escaping? Is this it? Am I free? Am I free? Did I do it, Captain? I think I did. I think that's it. Here we go. I won't skip this because it's, uh, you know, it's the end to an emotional journey. There it is. London burning. That was Zombie, or Zombie U, but you know, ported. Eight hours, pretty much the same time it took me the first time I played this game. Um, not a lot of gameplay, at, uh, or not, it didn't take very long. And it's funny because it, it feels longer than that, this game. Um, I'm gonna take the headphones out for a second so that I can think and not listen to the dun, 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 dramatic music. Yeah, um, a really good game. Um, I really enjoy that. Um, you can leave now if if you've you've had enough. You've watched the let's play. You can go. Uh, just going to do uh, list off a couple of thoughts about the game. Um, yeah, I think it's a good game. It's really enjoyable. Um, it's a shame that a sequel never came out because obviously this was like a good basis for a game, and I think a sequel sequel could have been a truly great game. More content, flesh out a few bits and pieces more like you, you know for example using the kind of same connecting area over and over that felt a little bit repetitive um maybe a little bit more open world i could have i could have not not i don't necessarily need a truly open world but maybe some of the areas being slightly bigger and some of the exploration just fleshing out that exploration aspect of the game a little bit more would be nice um a little bit more variety of loot i think there was sort of a pseudo crafting system in there with the weapons upgrading. Um, but I could have done even with, you know, I could have even gone for something like a um, a, uh, a thirst, a hunger and thirst system where I have to eat and drink regularly. Um, even something like that to give you more of a reason to be constantly scouring the world for shit. Because like, I, th I feel like the only way they made scouring the world worth it was for collecting up loads of ammo which you could get away with not using for most of the game anyway. I only really used a lot of guns and ammo at the end when it's... when it's kind of necessary, I think, to be honest with you, towards the end of the game. It becomes a lot harder. I was going through that game looking at ways you could do a no-combat playthrough, and I was kind of... Um, I saw a lot of ways you could do a pacifist playthrough where you get through without actually killing zombies. Um, probably you could make use of the shove mechanic and do a pacifist playthrough. I think you'd need the shove mechanic. I don't feel like you're ever going to be able to get the whole way through a game without dying, doing a pacifist playthrough without using that push. Uh, it's on R2, it's the button, but the shove mechanic. Um, but I feel like, god, getting towards the end of that game, I'm not sure how you do a pacifist playthrough. 
you know, uh, one bit that specifically springs to mind is when you climb up the ladder, uh, the bit where I died, I backed off of uh, uh, a pillar down into the depths below and ended up dying. Um, but just before you, you get to the St. The St. George's Church bit where you, you know, where you're put in the arena and you do all the kiting and shit like that. Just before that bit, like going through that section, I don't see how you could do that passive because there's a couple of points where just a swarm of zombies blocks your way and I'm not sure you could sneak around them. Um, or it'd at least be very difficult to do so. Particularly that bit where you climb up the ladder and there's the explodey dude at the top. Um, yeah, very eloquent explodey dude, that's what I call him. Um, uh, the, a third thing that I want to say, I don't know if this uh, counts to three, um, I'm not counting. Uh, but I, I lied about the, or I lied, I didn't lie, I didn't know that I was lying, but I was incorrect, I should say, about the um, difficulty. Playing on survival, it is actually harder, so I'll just show you here. Open up campaign, you have normal mode and survival mode. Now, it's not clear in this, in the game, so I don't know how true this necessarily is but according to according to Wikipedia not the Wikipedia but a wiki for this game survival mode the zombies have 50% more health and do 50% more damage and there are more of them more zombies spawn now when I was playing through the game I wouldn't say this was apparent I had a pretty easy time of it, the two hours that I got through. Only really died to some fucking bullshit I didn't even know was possible. I'd never died one shot in the game previously. Um, and I'd never died in that scenario, kind of like getting grappled like that before. I died before in the game being low and you run past a zombie and it takes a swing and like smacks you on the back of the head as you run past and fucking knocks you dead. But I'd never been grabbed like that and just bitten and that's it, the game's over. So, yeah, so that, that'd be interesting. I wouldn't mind revisiting this game and trying to do a proper survival playthrough. There are a couple of different interesting things I think could make the game interesting. Um, like doing a survival playthrough, um, like all the way, like no dying, and just restarting every time I die. Um, hopefully, if I was if I was taking it seriously, I could get through it. I mean, I played four survivors for this. I stuck to one for maybe three quarters of the game at least. I, I didn't die, and that was being fairly willy nilly with it because I knew we were on normal mode, and I'd just come back to life. A car. I would say one of the deaths. I'm just thinking. One of the deaths was sort of, I think, genuine, unavoidable in a way, when I was sprinting through the Bucky Palace at the end, um, after you've picked up the Panacea Code, and I just ran into that red zombie, um, you know, the zombies with the red dust off them that are, like, super powerful and drop a weapon upgrade, um, just ran headfirst into one of those, and he smacked me into next week. That death, I think I'll kind of, I kind of take that, that, that just kind of comes with the way I play the game and the way I was playing that game at that point, I was just like, leg it! Um... So that one I'll, I'll kind of take, that. I'll take that on the chin, that was like, um, not stupid as such, it was just a bit of poor gameplay, I should have been paying more attention, um, should have been being more careful. Um, the other deaths I had, one of them falling backwards off the pillar, that was, that was dumb, um, but, you know, and then one of them, so I played four survivors, so I played the first guy, died, played the second guy, died, played the third guy, died, and then ended up on the fourth survivor. So yeah, so the three deaths. So the other death was um, dying to the mines because I was trying to use the mines, and that that one, that fuck that one, that one was bullshit. Um, I'm not fucking having that. It because I spam, I, I was holding down L2 and I was spamming R2 to try and chuck the mine down because the zombies were walking towards me and I was panicking. First mine gets thrown on the floor, um, and I, I knew that was going to blow up in my face, but it didn't kill me. And it was just the fact that because I'd spammed R2, the second mine ended up going down. You know, that was just fucking dumb, I guess. Um, so honestly, looking back on it, if I'm more careful, I think two of those deaths are eliminated. In fact, arguably all three of those deaths are eliminated by BB just being a smidgen more careful. So I feel like I could do uh, a no-death playthrough of it. If survival mode is harder, could I do a no-death playthrough of it? I still think I could. I still think I'm pretty good at the melee combat. 
I think I'm pretty good at paying attention and not getting snuck up on, which I think is probably the biggest risk of death, is not paying attention and getting snuck up on and cornered. Um, and then a pacifist playthrough could be really fun on either mode. I think, I think a pacifist playthrough could make this very much more horror. Um, you know, taking away the combat as potential combat aspect. Um, but anyway, I've rambled on now. Um, I, I don't know how I'm going to edit this end, these ending bits together. I've, I've realised, you know, as you saw at the start of this section of recording, I, I actually got right to that very ending stretch um, and and had to stop recording. I was trying to I was trying to just squeeze in finishing recording this game. Uh, and I had some shit to do, and I didn't quite time it right, so I ended up actually having to leave about fucking t five to ten minutes of the game there. Um, which was frustrating, but, you know, it happens. So it means I'm going to have to get some recording software and fucking... Uh, not some recording software, sorry. I'm going to have to install some editing software um, and fucking just edit this ending shit together. Might even end, edit the end of this ramble out, because I've just been rambling on like a motherfucker. Um, but yeah, that, that was zombie. Um, good game. I really enjoy it. I would recommend picking it up. Um, if you can pick it up in a sale or something, a hundred percent get it. I'm pretty sure you can get it on PC as well. Um, but I would recommend getting it. It's for eight hours of gameplay. I reckon you can at least most people will get at least a couple of plays out of it, a couple of playthroughs. Um, if you did it on survival or did a passive playthrough or something like that, it would take you longer, I think. So. I think there's there's a good 15 hours of gameplay at least here for most people. Um, unless you're the kind of person who plays through a game once and then never wants to touch it again. Maybe this isn't for you, but I, I still recommend it. I think it's a really fun experience. I think it's a good game. Um, I think the atmosphere and stuff it creates, the setting is relatively unique. Um, a good take on the zombie survival horror genre overall. Um, released in a time when stuff like Resident Evil had gone away from the survival zombie horror roots and was kind of doing more action oriented games where games like Dead Space had started off kind of towing that Resident evil -y line. I would say Dead Space actually did a slightly better job of doing what, what Resident Evil tried to do, like a more action oriented survival horror. I think Dead Space kind of did a bit of a job of it, but then even they went away and by the third game it was it was very much just an action shooter. Um, yeah, I really like this game, I think it's great. I think it's part of the renaissance of the survival horror genre, kind of started to really come back to the mainstream. You know, in recent years we've had Resident Evil 7, we've had the remake of Resident Evil 2, you know, we've had Outlast, we've had um, all sorts of games like this, uh, Layers of Fear. I think that that kind of horror -y genre, I mean, Layers of Fear is not a survival horror exactly in the same way, but um, but yeah, I just think the renaissance of the genre, I think this came along at a time when it sort of helped people realise that this kind of game could be really good and be really enjoyable and be received well. This didn't perform so well um, financially, um, which is a real shame and I think probably a lot of it is just due to the Wii U. I think if this had been multi-platform from the beginning, this would have been a successful hit game. Um, not, I don't think it would have been like huge and sold billions or anything, but I think it would have been successful enough to spawn a sequel, which then I think would have been a really, really good and successful game. Um, anyway, done with the rambling. That zombie, I've been King Demps. Really nice to wrap up a game. You know, my first sort of series coming back to this YouTube thing. It's been fun, really enjoying it. Gonna just keep cracking on, just getting more games done, more shit recorded, whatever. You know, fucking just get that content on the go. Um, yeah, if there's anything people wanna see, you know, if you've made it this far in the video, fucking well done to you. But um, if there's anything anybody wants to see me record, or any suggestions, or anything like that, feedback, just fucking feel free. I'm a thick-skinned bloke. If you think I'm shit, tell me I'm shit. It's all good. Um, peace out, motherfuckers. It's been King Demps. Uh, catch you the next time.